Hello guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to implement local game notification in your Unity project for Android platform. The first thing you need to do is to look for this asset, the simple Android notification free. So the link will be in the description and click here to add to your asset. After you have added the asset, go to Asset Store, click Import. Make sure you import everything. Okay, now we need to create an empty game object. We call it Notify. Then, now we need to create a script for it. So, like create new folder scripts and new script call notify so double click and edit it now we need to define a string for the notification title so title equal to notification title then followed by a string which is the content of the notification okay cool so when do we want to schedule the notification we should schedule the notification when the apps is on pause or is quitting. So remove the start and update method. Void on application pause if a boolean is paused. So this is a method we are looking for which will always execute when the application is paused or quit. So if is paused equal to true then we will call the notification manager reference to the simple android notification okay. dot you can schedule a custom notification by using a send custom method but for this tutorial I'll be using a send with app icon this method will require a time span, a string title, content, a message, and also color followed by a notification icon. So we need to declare a time span time equal to new time span. Um, let it sing a system, putting it in to do first so now we need to create a new variable date time we call to that to date to notify um, change to time to notify is better notify equal to date time dot now um, so for this tutorial I will be schedule the notification one minute after the app is quit and on pause so at minutes one and now we will replace the new time span with the um no 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 should be time to notify minus date time dot now so this is how we get the time span for the parameter so we are putting all the parameter inside the method time title and the message content uh, with color using blue for now and an app icon notification icon dot for free version there will be a 
total of six icons for you to choose. So I'll be using a bell here. So, okay, cool. This is how simple we can set up a local notification for Android platform. Um, well, uh, we should always cancel all the notification before set up. So, by calling the notification manager, not cancel all. This will remove all the notification in the apps when the apps is not pausing. So, one more last step is that we should exclude the code from compile if the platform is not Android. So, hash if Unity Android platform, then and if this will only compile the code if the platform is Android. Yep, that's all for the notify script. So now let's go back to Unity. Add the script to the notify object. Add component notify script. Okay. Now the implementation is complete. We can test it on the Android simulator. So go to build setting, build and run. Uh, demo APK will do. So now we wait for the build to be complete. It should take less than a minute. Okay, the build is successful. Now, as you can see, our apps loaded correctly. Then we try to queue the apps so that the not the notification will be scheduled. Now we have to wait for one minute. and see whether the notification is success implement. It should be coming soon. Yep, it's there. As you can see, the notification title and the notification content with our app icon. So, let's try to change something on the method. We use the heart mm, dot heart icon change it to red then change the title to notification heart uh, add a love symbol on the content we now schedule 30 seconds cool Okay, now let's try and see.
compiling building. Yeah, now we try the home button for this and wait for 30 seconds. As you can see, with the heart icon, red color, notification heart. Yep. That's it for this tutorial. We have successfully implemented the game notification for Android platform. So I hope this tutorial helps you. If it did, please give this tutorial a like and also subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.